a very good evening everyone the next experiment that we are going to see is how to interface an analog to digital converter to the arm processor so the analog to digital converter it is similar to the previous experiment which is the temperature sensor because as we already discussed the temperature sensor is also a form of the analog to digital converter so the program hence is similar to the temperature sensor we use lcd.h library file to view the output and this is the name of the function ADC experiment and this is a predefined command that is used in the Cocox ID and once we mention this command namely the ADC EXP the Cocox ID will know and also the ARM processor will know that the analog to digital conversion process has to take place. This is the main loop of the program where the first line is the receiver interrupt which means for every change in the analog value a corresponding digital output has to be produced. The next two lines are to display the output in the LCD. The first line is to initialize the LCD which is I and IT LCD and the next line is to display the text in the LCD interface. So I want to display ADC demo and this is a function call which is going to run this loop again and again and while of one implies an infinite loop which means I'm going to continuously it is an infinite loop which means for every change in analog value a corresponding digital output will be displayed on your output device so i just gave a quick through of this program because the program is also exactly same as one for the temperature sensor since both are analog to digital conversion process now coming to hardware implementation the hardware required for us to implement this experiment is the lpc 1343 series processor and this is a potentiometer so a potentiometer is nothing but a variable resistor so as we vary the resistance value which is an analog value we can see that a corresponding voltage will be generated this is how we are going to implement this experiment so i will take an arm processor we will take a potentiometer which is going to serve the purpose of an analog to digital converter so once we vary the resistance values which means I'm varying the analog values. Correspondingly, the digital values must be displayed for every change in analog values. So this ADC, this potentiometer contains three pins. The first pin will be connected to the power supply. The second pin is the output pin, which I'll be connecting to the ADC, AD1 pin of your ARM processor. And the third pin, we will be connecting it to the ground. Now we will see how to implement this in the Proteus software. So I have taken the LPC1343 series processor. Now go to library, search for pot active, press enter. So we can see that two types of potentiometers are displayed. Select the first one, which is pot active and you can click OK. So once you click OK, that pot will appear here. So I'm selecting this and I'm placing the potentiometer here. Now first pin has to be connected to the power supply. So go to terminals mode, select power and connect the first pin to the power, select ground, connect this third pin to the ground and this pin I will be connecting it to AD1 pin through a wire. So let me take a wire from here and I am connecting it to the AD1 pin. So connections have been made. Now we need to dump the hex file into this LPC1343. I'm sorry. So let me right click, edit properties. And in this program file, we need to go to the folder where the hex file is stored. So uh, I have the hex file for the ADC program here. So I'm selecting, I'll go to the desktop, LPC1343 programs, interfacing ADC, test, debug bin and the hex file so that hex file has come here and click on ok so i have now dumped the hex file of the adc experiment onto this arm processor now we will place a probe to check the variation in the voltage values i don't connect an lcd here i'm just going to connect a probe to see how the values are varying so let us connect a probe at this point i've connected a probe to ad1 pin to check the corresponding variations in voltage. Now let us simulate this. So we can see a voltage is generated 
So we can either increase the value in the potentiometer and decrease the value in the potentiometer to see the variation in the corresponding voltage in the AD1 pin. So this is how we implement the ADC experiment using the ARM processor. Thank you.